The Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus comes to an end after 146 years. Aaron Logan was there for the final show. For the very last time. Those words spoken to crowds just short of a century and a half. It was like sad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to miss it. And now it is officially over. Sad news for a lot of people as they lined up for the final Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. When I was little, I remember the shows. That's why it's special to me. So I want to see the last one. And Mary Petrich wants her sons to experience it. What are you expecting? Uh, clowns and animals to do tricks. And he certainly got to see that. So did five-year-old Liz Garcia. It was really cool. Have you ever been to one before? Mm, no. Adults who've seen the show many times at all different ages feel performers saved the best show for last. This was very modern, a lot of very high tech. You enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. Earlier this year, circus owners announced the show can no longer go on. There was a noticeable decline in ticket sales when the show's Asian elephants were pulled last May. Animal rights activists outside the Coliseum say they've been trying to get the entire show pulled for years. And for that reason, they feel a sense of accomplishment, but they are still on a mission. There are many other animal circuses as well, still touring in the United States. And we're coming for all of them if they don't evolve and go animal free. Back inside, a much different vibe as the crowd takes it all in up until the very last second. And that was Aaron Logan reporting from Uniondale, New York.